Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. To see my collection of beautiful rocks and minerals that I have prospected across the United States and other countries, type in on YouTube, Rock and Mineral Identification, followed by my name, Frank Riser, space, capital M period, capital S period. Riser is spelled R-E-I-S-E-R. Watch my videos on geology and rock and mineral prospecting and get out into the field and prospect for your own beautiful rocks and minerals. You can support my channel on Patreon so that I may have money to buy more materials to bring you fascinating experiments for science and geology. Today's demonstration deals with pond water what we will be doing is looking at pond water under the microscope to see what kind of algae is growing today, May 25, 2022, in New Jersey, USA. We are at a, la we are at a longitude of 40.06 degrees and a latitude of 74.41 degrees approximately in New Jersey. The temperature has been around this day in May 25 in the low 70s. We're going to observe the pond water and see what is growing and then later I'm going to make another video a part two and it will be pond water growing in mid-September and we'll see how the algae changed. Algae always changes as it grows in a pond from spring to fall. You'll notice that after between uh, spring and fall, different types of algae grow. There's filamentous algae and there's protistins of other types such as amoeba, paramecia, euglena, navicula, and a variety of chlorophytes, the filamentous algae such as oscillatoria, gloriocapsa, anabena, spirogyra, not Nasdaq. Nasdaq is a oceanic algae. It washes up on the shores of New Jersey. It consists of very large leaves with air bladders in it, and it's fascinating to see. Filamentous algae consists of cells linked together like train cars on a railroad track. The individual cells can be seen by differentiating them from other cells by the cell wall. The algae contains chloroplasts, the green pigment that makes the algae green. Rotophytes don't have a green pigment, they have a red pigment, which might be carotenoids or xan xanthophils, I forget. Let's see what's growing in this pond. And there we go. I see Vulcheria. Vulcheria is a chlorophyte, green filamentous algae. I also see navicula on the sides of the vulcheria. They're very hard to see and you probably can't see them through the camera. We'll switch to high power a little later and look for navicula. They consist of long bodies with two chloroplasts that are prominent in them and they move by cilia. Also present in this water is Paramecia, fast swimming protistins, or before Whitaker's Five Kingdom classification scheme, they were called protozoans.
debris. I see navicula. We'll switch down the high power and see what we see. We see the vulcheria. It's a large filamentous algae. Vulcheria. Easier set seen under low power. Perhaps in mid September we won't see Vulcheria anymore. We'll see water net or spirogyra or accumulation of less filamentous algae and more diatoms. And this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals, always reminding you, in order to find those beautiful rocks and minerals, to keep looking down.